Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Monica's Kitchen. Today, we're doing chicken in the kitchen. So, I have some amaze balls, ginormous um, chicken drumsticks. Um, you could also do this with chicken wings. So this is just kind of a jazzed up version of my version of chicken wings or chicken drumsticks. We're gonna start off by adding a little bit of olive oil in here, probably about three tablespoons or so. We wanna coat that pretty generously because we want all of this to really adhere to the chicken. A little bit of lemon juice. I want lemon juice in there because the acidity will help to tenderize the chicken. So roughly also about three tablespoons of that. You can see how very accurately I measure everything. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Make sure you coat them all really well. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight chicken drumsticks here. Salt. Season them generously. You wanna make sure that you have enough of the salt um, and spicy to counteract the sweet because we're gonna make this sort of a sweet and spicy. You can use either curry powder or um, if you have it, Ras Al Khanut, which is the Moroccan spice that I often use that um, has like 40 different spices in it is really delicious on this. We're gonna coat that pretty liberally with that. We will add a little smoked paprika for that barbecue-y flavor since we're going the, the uh, wings version here. Quite a bit of garlic powder. That's like almost a whole head's worth of garlic powder. I don't know, not really, maybe not. Harissa paste, or you could use sriracha, whatever kind of um, spice you want to add to this. You could even take um, chipotles in adobo sauce and chop those up and throw them in here. Um, this is a very hefty teaspoon of the harissa paste. And then honey. Uh, we're gonna do one, two, three or so tablespoons of honey. Make sure it's good quality honey. Um, I like to get the raw honey, but it's really whatever you can find. If you have local honey, even better, local honey is purported to have all these great um, anti-allergic, anti-allergic, aller, hypoallergenic. It helps you with your allergies. And right now we are all dealing with allergies because it's spring. And then I'm gonna put on a glove here because nobody really likes to handle raw chicken. And we just want to sort of toss this all together. See, and that clump of harissa paste mixed in, it's the hard part. Yeah, we'll get that in the liquid and that'll help to kind of dissolve it in there. And once we get this all tossed together, I want to let the chicken marinate for a little bit. If you want to do sort of a quick marinade, you can leave it on the countertop for a half an hour and let it sit there to marinate like that. If you want to do a slower marinade so it really has a chance to per permeate the meat really, really well, you can leave this in the refrigerator for like two or three hours and then you can take it out about 20 minutes before you want to throw them in the oven. And I'll show you what it looks like when these are properly marinated. Like this. Alrighty, so the chicken has been marinating for about three hours or so. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes out of the refrigerator before you put it in the oven. Preheated them to about 375, 400 degrees, depending upon your oven. And then we're gonna pop these onto a baking sheet. And they should take, these are big, so I'm gonna get, say they're gonna take probably about 30 to 40 minutes, depending upon um, your oven setting. You're gonna to wanna to obviously check them. You wanna make sure they're cooked all the way through. And I'm not wasting any of this. I'm gonna take all the marinade and literally just pour it over the top here so I can make sure all that starts to sort of glaze on top of the chicken. And periodically while it's in the oven, I will go ahead and rotate the chickens so that they have a chance to really sort of glaze all the way around. I'll pop these in and we'll check back when they're done. So these just came out of the oven. They did take about 40, 45 minutes because they were quite large. So um, if you come down here, you wanna make sure you're at least at 160, 165 ideally for These poultry. Are a little above that. Which is okay, because I wanna make sure they're completely cooked through. But um, you can temp it. If you're confident with just touching it, that's fine. But if you wanna be doubly sure, you wanna make sure you use your thermometer to make sure that the chicken's cooked through. Because there's nothing quite so bad as uncooked chicken. So I want to cut into one of these so you can see what they look like. Oh, by the way, they smell like, I don't know, heaven. barbecue heaven. So let's see if I can get into here. It's probably easier for me to just kind of, oh yeah. Look at this divinity. And of course, we've got all this great sauce. Look at that deliciousness right there. 
Can I have a bite? Yes, you can. <laughs> the rest is yours. Bye-bye.